Okay, welcome everybody to the 2009 Turkey Shoot, and I am proud to announce at the Stephen Schofield Aquatic Center. I know there's a lot of you that were personal friends with Steve, and as you, if you knew Steve, you knew that he was very enthused about swimming. So he would be very proud to see all of you guys out here. We're going to be very brief, and then we're going to unveil a plaque that will be uh, featured at, near the entrance of the Stephen Schofield Aquatic Center. So without further ado, let me just say that what you might not realize is that this pool was actually closed at one point, and almost single-handedly, Steve got it reopened got equipment donated, went to the, uh, the administration offices, did what needed to be done, and now we have this beautiful facility. Woo! So, so Steve was a good friend and a good man, and we'll always have good Okay, and if you knew Steve, you knew that in addition to being a force for swimming in the valley and an educator in the valley for 32 years, he was also a family man, and a lot of his members of his family are, st are here today for this ceremony, and it speaks to the man when you look at the family. So, we also have here to say a few words. This is Steve Schofield, Kathy Schofield. five minutes, so I'm going to use my five minutes. That's so you can get you Steve's not here, but his hat is here. And for those of you who don't know the significance of the pith helmet, if you ever went to any swim meet, Steve was wearing the pith helmet. He was always the man to go see with the pith helmet on. So after he got through at the end of the day, he had a big ring around his head because <laughs> the pith helmet perspired on him. <laughs> anyway, this is a beautiful day. Steve, you always used to worry about having this meet in November. Some of the time, the weather was really crummy, as some of you might remember. But today is perfect, so God's looking after him. Uh, before I say a few words, I'd like to read something from Steve's son, Chris. He lives in Colorado. He couldn't be here. Uh, he says, my father's family is honored to join with the swimming community to dedicate this pool. Steve had a determination to partner with Pierce College to preserve the legacy of community service. From teaching beginners just learning big arms freestyle to developing Olympic level athletes, this pool will serve Southern California in the many years ahead. Thank you, friends of Pierce, for believing in Steve and his passionate pursuit of swimming. We are happy you were able to be here for this dedication, Chris Spokale. One day, about two and a half years ago, Steve came, Steve came home from his usual Pierce workout swim. And as he passed in the kitchen, I was standing by the sink, and he was almost on the way to his office. He said, in passing, oh, some of the swimmers at Pierce are thinking about asking to have the pool named after me. He said it like he was announcing the weather was nice outside. <laughs> and of course, I got all excited. And he just continued on to his office, and that was it. For those of you who think he might not have cared, I can tell you more than anything, I think he was embarrassed. He, he was never much mun for accolades. But for those of you who also knew Steve, he was never at a loss for words. Except two times. When we threw a 70th birthday party for him, which was kept a secret by all the swimmers who knew him for three years, <laughs> and he walked in the restaurant door, he had nothing to say. I think he was going to cry. And then the second time was when he received the Lifetime Achievement Award for Masters. Again, he was speechless. Dear friends, this would be the third time that Steve would be speechless. This is an incredible honor for my husband and for all of those people who he taught to swim. He loves swimming. But most of all, he loved teaching, and swimming was a vehicle for teaching life skills, discipline, hard work, and personal achievement, and of course, how to swim. It's been estimated that he's responsible for teaching over 40,000 people to swim. Wow. He has three swim schools, taught preschoolers, coached swim teams, including master swimming, and for 20, 21 years, the Cleveland High School swim team. Everyone who knew Steve got involved in swimming. His two children, myself, my two daughters, 
three of my sister's children, and even my sister taught swimming for Steve. We would sit around at night and talk about all the fun things, and some of the things that weren't so fun, that happened during the day of teaching. So one Monday, last July, I got this cell phone call from my daughter, who had come to Pierce to sign up my granddaughter for swim lessons. She said, and I quote, Mom, you are not going to believe the sign that is on the wall outside the new pool. And she sent me cell phone pictures of this sign with my granddaughter, who said, and standing next to the sign, dwarfed by these letters. <laughs> so even so, I still wasn't prepared when I came to visit Pierce, walked around the construction, and there's Stephen E. Schofield Aquatic Center in these huge letters. And I asked someone who was responsible for that, and they told me it was the architect's idea to do that. So I thought that was kind of cool, because he probably doesn't know Steve at all. We still can't quite get over how, what a great honor this is. So we want to thank you all. You're all a part of Steve's family. It's a marvelous honor for Steve and for those swimmers he taught and coached. This pool is something he wanted for the balance with everyone, especially children would have a place and opportunity to learn to swim. For those of you who do any teaching at all of swimming, there's nothing as rewarding as taking a little child who's clinging to you for dear life and will not let go of you, your bathing suit, or your hair, <laughs> and in four weeks, not being in the pool very much, is letting go and blowing bubbles in the water. That's huge. So, if any of you have a chance to teach somebody to do any kind of swimming, my daughter, who's in her 30s, I won't tell how old she is, <laughs> uh, still has friends who can't swim. So if you have the opportunity, encourage them. The family would like to thank the community college system, Pierce College, friends of Pierce Pool, and all those who have spent hours in making this day possible. You are all true friends, and Steve would be speechless. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Schofield. I have to say this. Chris Schofield couldn't be here, but his daughter Jennifer just showed up, and she lives in Colorado. So she also talked a lot of swimming. Thank you all for honoring Steve. He's a great inspiration, isn't he? I hope you all make your times today. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so without further ado, we are going to unveil our plaque. It will be uh, featured prominently at the entrance to the pool. So, Mrs. Schofield, if you would please, there we go. And it says the Stephen, it's the Stephen E. Schofield Aquatic Center, dedicated to the memory of Steve Schofield, esteemed teacher and loyal friend to swimmers in the San Fernando Valley for over 50 years. And we dedicated that on October 1st of 2000, October 21st of 2007. Uh, what you should know about this is there is a legend that if you rub <laughs> the, uh, the brim of the pith helmet, as Fred is demonstrating right now, as you are walking in, you will be rewarded with uh, fast times and satisfying swims. I don't know. I don't know. I tried it. <laughs>